Hey guys, what's up? Josh here. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over my shot process with you guys. I've been getting a few questions on uh, my shot process. And in the video that we did, uh, myself, Paul McCargan, Eric Hoff, that we did with uh, the push on the ASL series, I didn't really go into full detail on everything. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and, and hit a little bit more. This isn't going to be everything, but it's going to be more along my process. So I have a target out there, maybe 20 yards, not too far. Um, it all starts whenever I approach the stake. So as I'm approaching this stake, I'm looking at that target and I'm saying, okay, I'm going to find my yardage. I'm going to say, okay, I know for a fact that as, that's 20 yards. Regardless if it's really not, let's just say it's 19. I can't make that shot fully in my mind to like pure confidence and the best of my ability if I'm second guessing my yardage. So I'm going to say I know for a fact that that's 20 yards. All right, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to establish where on that target my gap is. All right, so that's number one. That's before anything ever takes place. So as I'm doing that, I'm also like trying to control my breathing. I'm going to take two or three good breaths. And have, like the first breath, it's just like everything comes together. All right, the first breath, I'm like got my yardage. Second deep breath, I'm establishing where my gap is. And that third breath, I'm kind of visualizing myself go through a shot cycle, getting my gap where it needs to be in the whole nine yards. So once again, we're gonna approach the stake. Just big breath, all right? I know it sounds still silly, but you're actually controlling so much more when you're doing that. So we're gonna get that taken care of. Now, once all of those three breaths are done, I got my yardage, I got my gap, and I've just seen myself visually execute this shot. I'm going to say okay in my mind. And once I say okay, you're going to see me knock an arrow. Now once I knock my arrow, I'm going to drop it to my side. I'm going to set my hook. And I'm going to set my grip. All right. Now once I'm going to set my grip, that's my grip. It's not changed ever since anything. So if you're looking at where my pressure is going through, it's still directly through the center of that bow, through the center of my tiller. All right. It's no different. There is a reference right here. Eric uh, does a really good job of making sure those are all in there. It's really nice on all of his ASL. So I'm just going to run my finger across that to where my finger just folds along the back of the bow. And the fingers are just going to fall there. So I'm just going to fill it, reference it, drop my grip. There it is. It's the same every single time. So once I do that, you know, I'm setting my, getting my knock, setting it down set and hook, set and grip. And then I'm gonna stand erect, but I'm not gonna stand fully erect. Um, a couple of the coaches that I've talked to that I've gotten a lot of information from is keeping that core, not tight, but almost to where you're, you're, you're slightly bent at the waist over ever, ever so slightly. Um, the way they described it was, imagine you're gonna get punched in the stomach, okay? You don't wanna put your chest out and say, okay, hit me. You're kind of using your core you're tightening it up and saying, okay, I'm ready. It's the same thing with shooting. So we're gonna set our feet. Obviously, before we ever knock, we're gonna set the hook, set the grip. We're gonna stand erect. We're gonna kind of tighten our core ever so slightly, bending over. And then I'm gonna say draw. Now, once I say draw, it's still the same. I'm doing a pendulum movement. I'm coming up and drawing down. Now, this is just what's worked for me. This may not be the most accurate or best way, but. I've done this for years and years and years. It's just my process. So as I'm drawing, I'm going to the tip of the, the, the bow up to like a two o'clock, 2.30 position, 1.30, 2 o'clock position. And it's coming down to a seven to 7.30 position, all right? So as I'm drawing, I'm going to reach my anchor, which is middle finger to the corner of the mouth. And I'm taking the back part of that thumb and pushing it into the pressure point of the back of my jaw. And then as I'm drawing, I'm coming to anchor, and then you're gonna see a slight movement to transfer to load. So all of that is pretty much one good movement. All right, so it's gonna look something like this. Okay, now once I get that done, I'm gonna say get it there. Because what I've kind of developed is more of a uh, hit on the run, a drive-by style of shooting, and it's, it's really taken a toll on me. So. I'm using my words to really execute a shot, my entire shot process. So what I'm gonna say is get it there, get it there, get it there. And I'm just gonna keep telling myself, 
because I'm getting close to where I need to be. But it's like that last little bit, I'm gonna start getting more aggressive in my mind. Get it there, get it there, get it there. And once I get it there, I'm just gonna say it one or two more times. And that's just gonna allow me to get used to that sight picture that I'm not just wanting to hurry up and drop it. So once I get it there, I'm gonna say relax, expand. Now that relax is more like, a, okay, I'm in control. I have it where it needs to be. And I'm gonna say expand, just a slight expansion. I'm gonna break the shot. Now when I'm breaking that shot, this bow arm needs to be a statue. This bow arm shouldn't move. If it does, it's gonna be ever so slightly. Um, that's my new shot cycle. I used to be really dynamic, and when I would break, it's almost like I would just be like ripping through something, you know? So now, it's the bow arm is a statue, and my, my release is coming straight back, keeping it tight on my face. So that's another thing that I've been saying, is keep it tight after every other shot or something. Just keep it tight. And that's just keeping that, fa that finger that tight to the face, the hand tight to the face as I break my shot, all right? So we're going to approach, we go through all our breathing, I'm going to say okay, we're going to knock my arrow, I'm going to drop it down, I'm going to set the hook, set the grip, stand erect, tighten the core, draw, transfer, get it there, get it there, relax, expand, and tight, keep it tight. Now that is actually a very long shot process. That's not usually how it goes. In my mind, I'm sitting there talking to you guys out loud. So it's, it'll be more like, get it there, get it there, relax, expand, break. So it's, it's kind of a tempo that you'll eventually learn on your own, but I'm just showing you guys mine. So once again, from start to finish, we're gonna approach the stake. First big breath got my yardage kind of looking at it and I'm saying okay I know for a fact that's what it is second breath kind of establishing my gap I know that's where it is for a fact then I'm just going to the third breath visualize myself drawing anchoring and just executing a shot it's going to be like a fast forward motion so once I got that okay knock drop set hook set grip okay I'm going to come up erect Tighten the core, draw, transfer, get it there, relax, expand, break, keep it tight. So I'm not going to say anything on this last one, I'm just going to go through my whole shot cycle. So That way you guys can see about how fast it usually is. And that's my shot process. So um, not going into fully detail of everything, but that's kind of like the highlights of it. So anyways, guys, got to jump off here. I hope you have a blessed remaining 2023 and good fortunes for 2024. So until next time, guys, take it easy.